welcome to the Bride Guide 101 with Gemma and Jade and today we're talking veils. Now the veils we're talking about today are shorter veils, so these are the ones that will come to your elbow or slightly below that and we're teaming it with a few different dresses to create different looks, a little bit like we did in our previous video um, about longer veils, so we're taking a detailed dress like Gemma's got on already, it's her favourite as well. I love this dress, There's only, there only one dress, I was like, we'll go fit oh, in. She was like, I, I know the Mine. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dress I'm wearing. Love it. So we're going to team this with a few different shorter veils, and then we have a more plainer A-line dress. We're going to team that with some veils. And then we've also gone for a T-length dress. We can show the different levels with the lengths of the dress, not the dress. Oh, <laughs> started again, hasn't it? The different lengths of the veils with a shorter dress. Again, you had a little bit of details to it to see how they work for the dress. So then, when you are choosing your veil, hopefully, you've got a little bit more knowledge in there and then you know where to go. So, we can get straight to it. And uh, we'll start with this gorgeous dress and looking at veils of that one. The first veil we've gone for with this dress is this one now we've kept it quite minimal with this dress because you've got that beautiful lace all over it again when you're teaming your accessories a dress it's got a lot of detail on as this one has you don't want to distract from it or make it too much so i've gone for a single tier and what that single tier is going to do is because you haven't got the other tier here it's going to keep it nice and simple and by that you can still see the beautiful detail show the back of my dress off exactly <laughs> this dress has got these beautiful buttons so you don't want to have another tear over there because you won't see the back of your dress which is the wow of the dress we've gone for a 72 inch so it's just coming just below Gem's thigh here and you've got these little bit of diamantes on with a nice silver trim every other of the scalloped edge so as you can see if I just come out slightly now how pretty that looks. It's giving it a bridal look without distracting from the dress, making it a wow. Right then, so up next, I've gone for a slightly longer veil with a 90 inch. Now the last one we have is 72. So this one is completely plain and what it's doing is completely falling into the dress. So there isn't any detail on it. It's a single tier again, but whereas with the 72, it would come just here. This one, if I bring it all the way down, just falls onto the dress train here. So as Gemma stood there, it actually falls into the train. So you're getting a shorter veil because it isn't going beyond this train. But I think it just looks so soft and pretty. But again, it's making it a bridal look without distracting from the dress. So as you're looking at this dress. Imagine you're stood at the altar, doing your I do bit. You can see it's making it bridal, but you're not losing any of the detail. If I zoom in, you can still see those beautiful buttons, and we're keeping the look really minimal because the dress is doing all of the talking. So this is a 90 single tier plain veil. So up next, we have this beautiful veil. Now that we have a lady from Iris Accessories who makes these handmade, and this one's got these beautiful little, um, oh, they're clear beads, aren't they? Yeah, thank you, Gem. I don't yeah. know what's going on. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> My words just suddenly yeah, disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these little sparkly things. So this one, it's slightly flatter in the way it's fixed on the comb. And by doing that, it's made this whole pleating around the upper part nice and soft. So again, we can see all the beautiful details of the dress, but we're not distracting or taking away from the dress, adding too much that confuses the look almost. And that's my favourite. Jem said, as soon as she put it on, she's like, this is my favourite. Yeah, look how pretty it looks, because you can see it, but you can't see it. Exactly, yeah. and I think that's a mixture of having a flatter comb, the way it's sat on it, and again, that the, the, um, the detail on it is minimal. I mean, look. How can you not want a veil? Yeah. So again, this one is sitting to the edging it's just sitting below here slightly longer but again because it's so soft it's falling into the dress train so it's really adding to the look but this is my favorite i don't care what gem says if she was my bride i'd be like that's what you're having and i would agree yeah <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing up next we have gem oh i gone really wobbly there in a <laughs> Don't laugh, Jim. Come on, serious. I've got 
Now, I told Gemma not to move, and she's just moved. So, Gem, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I have Gem in a plainer A-line dress, and this dress has got a lot of things going on that I love. But, side note, look at all these buttons. Now, I love buttons that run down a dress train, especially in a plainer dress because it's like less is more, but it's everything. And I really believe that. But that's a side note. I've gone on about the dress. But we're talking veils, shorter veils. So I've teamed this dress with the two tier. Now, with that, it means you've got an extra layer here. So it's making a fuller look around Jem's shoulders. And again, because you've got a beautiful back on this dress, it's a little bit lower, it's not distracting from it too much because you have the detail that just runs on the edge. So you've got a scalloped edge, but then as we move on to the second tier of this dress, veil even, you've got these lace appliques, again adding a little bit of detail but not distracting from the dress. And when a dress is plainer, you can decide where you want to go with a dress and the veil accessories. So as we've gone for this one, you can see we've added a little bit of detail, so it's given another edge to the dress and another look without distracting, and it's a 72 inch veil. So it's just going to Jem's thighs, and that second tier is just hitting her elbows. So here we have a plainer veil that I've teamed with this dress, because just because your dress is plainer, don't feel like you have to add more detail if you don't want it. So the reason I brought this in, we've got two tier again. So what that's going to do, it's going to make a fuller look around Jem's shoulders so it gives you a little bit more coverage people quite like that sometimes but again it can be single and this one it just has this ribboned edge and what that's doing is adding a little bit of detail but not too much again we're still not losing any of the detail from the buttons we can see them but it's toning the look down and as i said you don't if you don't like lace and sparkle because your dress is plainer you haven't got to go that way with it you can keep it really simplistic clean and elegant but again, adding a veil just makes it look more bridal for me. So as you're walking into your ceremony, you're making your bridal look where, you know, whip it off for the reception, and you're good to go, dance the night away. So as I said, this is 72 inch. Again, it's just coming past Jem's thighs. And sitting really softly on the dress. So finally... With this dress, I've gone for a little bit more detail, a bit more sparkly. Now this is one of my most favourite veils, purely because I love sparkle. But there's something about the sparkle of this dress, because on the edge you've got these larger scalloped edges, but you've got a mixture of pearls with that little diamante edging. And because you've got that detail there, as you move, Jim, you're allowed to move slightly now. There you go. <laughs> now stop. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's taking direction really well today. No, I didn't say oh, to move okay, again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Start that. And as you can see, it's on the top tier, and then it goes to the edging of the bottom tier. So again, if you're looking for a little bit more detail, adding a touch of sparkle may be the way to go. And because you haven't got any detail in the dress, you haven't got to worry too much about adding too much sparkle to it. But I mean, how pretty does that look? And you can see, ladies, why this is one of my favourite veils. And it really works with a lot of dresses. So here we have Gem in a T-length dress. And the reason we've done this is because we wanted to show you a different sort of dress. And then one of a lady had asked for it to see the comparison. So I've gone for a 54-inch veil, this one. And I will show you a 72 in comparison, but this is a shorter one. That bottom tier is hitting Jem's elbow. And obviously, because the dress is shorter, you're going to, going to want to try slightly shorter veils. See how that works with the dress? So I've gone for a lace edging here. And this is really pretty because it's picking up the lace in this dress. But also, because it isn't all over it, it's keeping it quite minimal and not distracting from the dress at all. Again, it's just sinking in. And that extra tier... It's giving a little bit more fullness around here, but you can still see underneath the dress. This is a 54 inch. Again, we're adding a little bit of lace detail here, but not too much to heighten the dress look without distracting. So here we have Gemma in the T-length dress. I've teamed it with a single tier, completely plain, 54 inch veil. 
and this is for a few reasons I wanted to show you if you wanted to completely strip the look down but still wanted a veil with a t-length dress it's got no detail on as you can see it's just falling past Jen's elbow it's just here for there we go. So you still see the dress, it's not distracting again from it at all. And you can see it's really helping complete the look. I think it looks really, really pretty. So here we have Jem with a slightly different veil now with this T-length dress. I've gone for an edging, it's got a little bit of lace on, it's also got a little bit of sparkle. It's a single tier, again, so that's going to keep it nice and light around Jem's shoulders and her neckline. So you can still see the dress. This veil also has these really delicate little glass beads on. So again, it's not overpowering, but it just gives a little bit of sparkle. So it can't, because the dress has got a little bit of sparkle, if I just move that, on the lace appliques, it helps picks it up, I think. So the bride's moving, the light will collect. There you go, she's allowed to move a little bit this time. <laughs> I heard you. Yeah, I will move and dance. But with this one, it's important to remember, I've now gone with a 72 inch. So where the other ones with this T-length dress have, hit, have been 54 and they've hit Jem's shoulders, no, elbows, you know what I mean, ladies. This one is 72 inch. So it's going to be a slightly longer look for this T-length dress. But as I move away, you can see it's still kind of falling in. So if you're thinking slightly longer, can I get away with it with a T-length dress? This is the look you're going to create with having that longer veil.